Well, I, listen, I appreciate the remarks of my friend from Chicago. He represents a large urban district. I represent a large rural district in Wisconsin. You may be a Bears fan and I might be a Packers fan, but one thing we agree on is this is a bill of goods for both of our constituencies. And I'm especially concerned about the economic impact in the large rural congressional district that I represent, where production and agriculture is still an important part of our economy. Some of the changes that they're making is going to be devastating to families. They're taking away the 199 tax deduction, which is important for our domestic manufacturers as it is for our family farmers. If you want to grow things and invent things and create things, make things in America, the 199 has been, have a proven track record of making it easier for our farmers and manufacturers to do it. Under their bill, that goes away. Net operating loss carryback, which is important for a lot of farmers in order to recoup some of the losses that they've experienced in their business, it goes away. Like-kind exchanges for property and heavy machinery in farm country goes away. A lot of my farmers are operating on the margin right now. And I'm concerned about the impact this is going to have on the rural economy and our family farmers with what they're proposing. And so you don't have to be from a city or from a rural district to understand that, again, the work wasn't put into this bill to understand the real consequences of what they're asking for. And it's not too late. We can still regroup and work in the bipartisan fashion the tax reform was meant to occur and figure out a way to truly simplify, make us more competitive, but make it fair for working families and small businesses and family farmers in all of our districts rather than this rush to judgment just so they can score a political win before the end of the year. So I think the points that my friend from Chicago uh, raised are very valid and it's something that I would hope all of us would heed before we reach our final decision tomorrow morning. I yield Thank back. you. And one thing I like about the Packers is that the people own them. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, for, forgive me for being from New England. I won't, I'll, let, I'll leave that alone. I'd like to yield to uh, Mr. Larson, and we're going to hear from well, Mr. Levin the, and Mr. I thank Lepinski the gentleman and Mr. Welsh. Uh, for yielding.